yeah here we go all right mo first of all we will say a'udhu billah and bismillah again a'udhu billah minash shaitanir rajeem a'udhu billah minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the last juz of the Quran, last part or last section of the Quran, and within this part, this is uh, one of the last ten surahs of the last juz. So this is called Suratul Fil. Read the title, Suratul Fil. Suratul Fil. Good job. Okay. Now do the spelling of this word. Hamza zabar ha a lam zabar la ala. I mean, Hamza zabar a lam zabar mim lam alam 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 alam. Good boy. Okay, now do the spelling of this word. Ta sabar otar, kaf sabar, ya kai. Does raw have? Tar. Does raw have a jazm? No. So why are you connecting ta with raw? Ta sabar ta, raw sabar otar. Why are you saying tar? Why are you are again connecting ta with ra? Yeah. Yeah. You are saying tar. You said tar. Do the spelling again of this word carefully. Ta zabar ta ra zabar ta. No. Ta. The sound of ta zabar is ta. The sound of ra zabar is ra. You have to. Uh, read the sounds together, not mix them up. What do you mean? Do not mix up the sounds. Just read the sounds together. Tar. Let me give you a hint. In the beginning of, uh, in the zabar lesson, we said ba zabar ba, lam zabar la, ba la. Did you get the idea now? Thank you. So we are not connecting the letters here. Because there is no jazam on raw. Only if there is jazam, then we connect. So now ta we... Zabar, ta yeah, ta zabar ta, ra zabar ra, ta ra. Ta zabar ta, ra zabar ra, ta ra. Ta ra. Ta ra. Next. Ka zabar ya kai. Hmm. Fa zabar fa, ta ra kai fa. Yeah, Taro Kaifa. Taro Kaifa. Good job. Do the spelling of this one now. Fa zabar ain no fa zabar fa ain zabar a fa a lam zabar la fa a la. Good job. Do the spelling of this word now. Rose zabar. Ba peshbu robu ka zabar ka robu ka. Okay, now I will teach you a new sign today. This sign is called tashdeed. What it is called? Tashdeed. Can you see this W sign? Hmm? This sign is called tashdeed. What it is called? Tashdeed. Okay. Tashdeed means that whenever a letter has a tashdeed on it, we have to read that letter two times. Whenever a letter, just repeat the statement. Whenever a letter, whenever a letter has a tashdeed on it, has a tashdeed on it, we read that letter two times. We read that letter two times. Okay. Now the first time will be when we are going to connect raw with the ba. So. Tashdeed is similar to jazam. In jazam also we are going to connect the previous letter with that letter. In tashdeed also we are going to connect the previous letter with the letter. But there are some changes but we will discuss these changes in a bit. 
But first of all, you have to remember this that whenever a letter has a tashdeed, we have to connect the previous letter with that letter. Got it? So here we will connect the raw with the ba. Now, what is the second uh, time when we read the letter with tashdeed? Which when I said earlier, remember that whenever a letter has a tashdeed, we have to read that letter two times. So first time we can read is when we are connecting the previous letter with that letter which has tashdeed. And the second time is that we have to read the second sign. So, Ba has two signs actually. Ba has first of all tashdeed and above it is a pesh. Can you see that? So, what we are doing is that we are first of all connecting Ra with the Ba. Then we are saying Ba pesh bu. So, it will be like this. Ra zabar ba rab. Say it. Ra zabar ba rab. Then ba pesh bu. Ba pesh bu. Rab bu. Rab bu. That's it. This is what is the function of the shteed. So we are connecting the previous letter with this and we are also uh, reading the second sign of that letter. And we are mixing up these sounds together. So rab bu. Rab bu. All right. One more thing which you need to consider. Whenever a letter has a tashdeed on it, we have... When? Yeah, whenever a letter has a tashdeed on it, say the statement. Whenever a letter has a tashdeed on it, we have to hold that letter. We have to hold that letter. For half a second. For half a second. So what do I mean by that? Have you ever seen a hammer? Yes, we have one over here. All right. So suppose that a hammer is striking a nail. A hammer is striking a nail, okay? Consider raw to be a hammer and ba to be a nail. So raw is striking the letter ba while connecting it. And then it is also holding it or pressing it for half a second and then coming back okay just give it uh, just imagine this example in mind so we are saying rabbu we are not saying rabu we are not saying rabu we are saying rabbu so we are pressing the bar or holding the bar for half a second can you get my point now all right so now repeat the spellings after me raza barba rob Rosa Rabba Rob Ba Pesh Boo Ba Pesh Boo Rob Boo Rob Boo Kaf Zabar Ka Kaf Zabar Ka Rob Boo Ka Rob Boo Ka Good boy. Now you do the spelling. Rosa Bar Ba Rob Yeah. Ba pesh bu. Yeah. Rub bu. Rob bu. Ka. Rob bu. Yeah. Ka sabar ka. Rob bu ka. Rob bu ka. Press it more. Rob bu ka. Good boy. Do the spelling again. Rob bu ka. No, no, no. Do the spellings again. Rob sabar. Rob. Rosa Barba Rob Rob Zorba Rob Rosa Barba Rob Rosa Barba Rob Ba Pesh Bu Ba Pesh Bu Rob Bu Rob Bu Kafsa Barka Kafsa Barka Rob Bu Ka Rob Bu Ka Yeah, now you do the spelling again Rosa Bar Ba Rob Ba Pesh Bu Rob Bu Kaf Sabar Ka Rob Bu Ka No, press the bar for half a second. Rob Bu Ka Yeah, Rob Bu Ka Rob Bu Ka Do the spelling one more time correctly this time. Rob Sabar Ba Rob Ba Pesh Bu Rob Bu Rob Boo. Rob Boo. Yeah. 
Kaf sabar ka ro buka. Good job. One more time. Ro sabar ba ro pa pesh bu ro bu. Kaf sabar ka ro buka. Good boy. All right. So you were asking, what do we call this sign? All right, now I will tell you. I will tell you with an example, which is easy to understand. Which sign it is? Zabar. All right, so this is Zabar. Now let us change the position of Zabar. Let us change the the angle of Zabar. Let us do that. Let us do it like this. Now what it becomes? It becomes standing Zabar. Got it? Got, did you get my point? So this one is Zabar. Whereas this one is standing Zabar. This zubber is laying down, but this zubber is standing up. That is why we call it standing zubber. Got it? Yeah. So this is standing zubber. All right. So, yeah. What is the function of standing zubber? Now I will tell you that. The sound of zubber is ah. What's the sound of zubber? Ah. The sound of standing zubber is also ah, but with one change. <laughs> The sound of standing zubber is also ah, but with one change. There is one difference. Another one change. Whoa, tell me, what's the difference? We stretch it for one second. Oh, oh, good job. How did you know that? Cheat sheet. Oh, cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah. So we stretch the sound for one second. So this is, so for example, let us. So this is the letter ba with the zubber on it. So this is ba zubber ba. Say ba zubber ba. Ba zubber ba. But this one ba with the standing zubber will be ba standing zubber ba. Ba standing zubber ba. All right. Now I will say ba. And ba? and then ba. Ba. Can you feel the difference between the length of these letters? So this is the standing zubber sign, okay? And this is the difference between the two. This is ba, but this like... is ba. This is ba. Yeah, good job. Good job, man. Good job. This looks like a big smiley face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's correct. All right. Let us finish these two words. So now, now do the spellings. Which spellings? Or which word? Start that from here. Is big letter. Yeah. Buzzer B. Hmm. Zabr saw us. Yes. Ba. Bus. No. What is the sound of Zer? Bees. No, not bees. We are not connecting Ba with the Saad. Because next to Ba is a Hamza with a Zabar sign. So we are going to connect Hamza with the Saad, not Ba with the Saad. Be us? Yeah, be us. Next one. Ha. Standing zubber. Ha. Good job. Ba. Us. Ha. How it is ba when it has a zir? Oh, yeah. B. B. Yeah. B. Us. Ha. Good job. Next. Ba. Zir. B. No.
a bazelam bil. Yeah. B as ha bil. Good boy. Next. Fazer fi ya fi. Fazer ya. What should be the sound? Which rule applies here? Fi. Yeah. I'm thinking in my mind. Okay, think, think. B, no. B, as, ha, bil, fai. No. P. 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 Yeah, and then the last letter. Sam, zeli. Hmm. Oh, oh. What's Kibil and Aziz? Uh, those are that? those are my students also. So their time has started. All right. Anyway, so this is Lam Zeli. Lam Zeli. Now read the complete word. B as ha bil fi. Good job, good job. Now I'll tell you one more thing. Can you see the circle here? This, <laughs> this circle indicates that one sentence of the Quran is completed now. This sentence or this verse of the Quran is completed here. Whenever we are at the end of a verse, normally what happens is that any sign which the last letter has turns into jazm while stopping. So the zair of lam will turn into jazm while stopping. So it will be like this. Bi as ha bil fil. Bi as ha bil fil. Good job. Bi as ha bil fil. Bi as ha fil. E. Bi as ha bil fil. Be as ha feel e. Not be, no, no, no. Look, be as ha bil feel. Be as ha bil feel. Feel. Good job, good job, feel. Okay. Now tell me which rule applies here? This letter has a zabar on and the next letter is ya with the jazm. So which rule applies here? Jazm. This letter has a zabar on it and the next letter is ya with jazm. So which rule applies here? When a letter has a zabar on it and the next letter is ya with jazm, which rule applies? <laughs> Not ya madda. Oh, ya 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 lean. Good job. Okay. Now, which rule applies here? This letter fa has a zay below it, and the next letter is ya with jazm. Which rule applies here? Ya madda. Ya madda. Good job. And what do we do in ya madda? We stretch the sound. For one second. Yeah. And what do we do in ya lean? We don't stretch the sound. We don't stretch the sound. Good job, man. Good job. All right. So, inshallah, meet you tomorrow. Wish you best of luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wow, Bye -bye. Bye. So I hope that this video was useful for you. If it is so, then please like it, comment on it, share it and subscribe my channel. Wish you best of luck. Inshallah, we will meet in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Bye -bye.